Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and in today's video we're going to be playing Death Stranding on PC. Now this is something I, way different than what I would normally do on this channel. Uh, normally I would never play a PC game on this channel because I enjoy console gaming and that's kind of what my channel is about. But I figured it is PC Game Pass, it is a brand new game that's come to PC Game Pass, and it's a big name game. It's Death Stranding. So I figured, you know, since it's not available on console, it's worth checking out on PC. And before we do that, so we're just gonna look at these minimum and recommended requirements real quick. On the graphics are at end, you're gonna want a GeForce GTX 1054 gig or an RX 560 4 gig for the minimum requirements. And you're gonna want an i5 3470 or a Ryzen 3 1200. Very budget build there. Uh, you could technically run this game on that build if you built it today. I don't know how good that would run, probably about 720p 30 FPS, but you know, maybe 720p 60, possibly. Recommended requirements, however, GTX 1066 gig and an RX 590, still very budget cards, um, easy to find as well, uh, because everybody's focused on the higher end cards. So you can definitely get those pretty cheap in terms of like, you know, PC components. Uh, and then on the processor side, you're going to want an i7-3770 or a Ryzen 5 1600. Both very budget processors. Don't get an i7-3770. Don't do that in 2022. Uh, get a Ryzen. Get Ryzen anything. Get the Ryzen 3 1200 before the i7-3770 because Ryzen's a newer platform. Let's go ahead and hop in to Death Stranding on PC. And... I am playing this with a controller. I, I am not about to play this game uh, with a mouse and keyboard because that quite frankly sounds like a terrible time. And we're just gonna be checking out the general gameplay of the game, which is kind of hard for me to explain. So I'm gonna have to explain it while I'm actually experiencing it and try my best, as well as the performance. Um, on my PC specifically, I've got an i7 9700K, I've got an RTX 2080 Super, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So my PC is like in between middle and upper tier. In fact, I would say it's upper tier, but yeah, definitely more powerful PCs out there than what I have. And I think when I stopped playing last, I was on my way to this, yes, this wind farm. So let's go ahead try to make our way up there i honestly have no idea what's gonna happen while i'm recording this so if nothing happens and it goes off without a hitch then hey that's perfect if there are technical difficulties you know that's what editing is for you guys will never know what happened wait what is that oh i think that's just the top of a tree i think Hopefully, fingers crossed. This has to be insanely heavy to be carrying up this mountain. <laughs> I'd have passed out long ago. This game is hard to explain to people because it's a game that I thought was going to uh, suck because the gameplay loop seemed very not fun to me. And that was all the way up until just a few days ago before it was added to PC Game Pass. But yeah, once you play it for yourself and you realize, yeah, the gameplay it's not the most exciting thing in the world, although it can get pretty tense, but it's really like weirdly relaxing, if that makes any sense. I don't know why my guy's falling all of a sudden. Oh, it's the wind farm. I think the wind is knocking me over. I think that is what's happening here. Honestly, when they told me I was delivering to a wind farm, I didn't even take into consideration that the wind would be a problem. Dude, how far am I away from this place? We're coming up on it. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna fall all the way down this hill. Oh my god. Dude, if this was me, I'd just be tumbling down this hill. Strong wind. I did not even, oh no. I think this is about to get bad. This is probably gonna be where it gets to be one of those tense moments I was talking about. This is gonna suck. I can already, t yep. All right. Let's 
so basically what this is is BTs and BTs are basically those you can't see them but they are definitely bad definitely bad and that thing on my shoulder is looking at one right now and as I get closer it will start to blink even more and basically you just want to avoid that you just really want to avoid that and I'm gonna try my best to avoid it the problem is that they seem to be like directly in the middle between where I need to go and where I'm at now oh crap it's going off now dude this is so bad oh this is bad keep moving keep moving nothing to see here oh this is so tense oh this is so tense I don't like this I don't like this. Somehow I am not dead yet. I don't know how. Do I gotta climb up these rocks? Oh god. These BTs are making it way harder. I just realized that my uh, webcam was stuttering that whole time. I apologize for that, but hopefully it's fixed now. Oh man, this is so tense. There's just nowhere to go. Everywhere I go is bad. I feel like I'm being cornered right now. <laughs> I'm so on edge. I am so on edge right now. I just need to make it out of this. Oh. oh no. Oh no. We can do this. We can do this. I'm not even looking behind me. I'm not about to look behind me. That's not happening. That was so close. That was ridiculously close. I feel like I'm getting a glitch there on my... Well, that's not even a glitch. That's just the flaps on my thing flapping around because of the wind. So, no combat so far, but I definitely got my heart racing. Um, my goodness. So intense. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other one. Here's a mind if I incorrect. Patchy. Two stars? Two star, but just barely two stars. Not great, but you know, considering the situation, I'm fine with that. And that's what I mean. This uh, this ga this is a game that you would think would be generally boring, but because of moments like that, it 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 just gets really tense, man. It gets really tense. All we need now is a connection to the chiral. Bed. For it. No different than, um, well, I guess it is different, but it just gets tense, man. It's hard to explain. And it, it actually is fun when you're in the moment. Even though it is really tense and you kind of hate it, it is actually fun in the moment. Playing it yourself. Alright, so now I believe I will have the ability to 
get on this bike here because I can now build myself a generator. All right, so let's see where we gotta go next. Uh, west of Capital. Okay, so it's right there. So this little orange spot is enemy territory. So we will be going through that, which will be fantastic probably. I think uh, we're about to run into some BTs again. And I'm not sure why my webcam is lagging, but it is for some reason. I'll say that <laughs> the driving in this game isn't in the best. Uh, you're kind of able to appreciate the fact that that is not the point of this game. But I do think it's going to help us get through this enemy territory much, much easier. That's what, that's a dude I actually took out earlier <laughs> when I was playing. He's still there. I'll tell you what, that's a lot easier getting around than, than it would have been if I was walking. Because that would have been way more difficult walking. Let's make this delivery. And we end with an achievement. We're going to go out on a high with this video. I got an achievement. I'm feeling good. Really enjoy the game. A lot more, like I said, a lot more than I ever thought I would. Had my preconceived notions about this game whenever it launched on PS4. And like I said, I was excited for it up until those last few trailers. I I can happily say that I was, I was very wrong. This is a very, for me personally, this is a very fun game. I can definitely see how it's probably not for everybody. Um, it's a bit out there. It's weird. It's definitely strange. But uh, it's relaxing and... It can be very tense at some times too. Uh, and there is combat. I know we didn't get to see really any combat today, but there is combat in this game. I, I, you've, I've done like hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. So it is, it is really a fleshed out game. If you love games with story, then I mean, hey, and you got a PC and you got Game Pass, then I really recommend this game. I can't recommend it enough. But with that being said, if you've made it this far in the video, I do want to say thank you. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate anybody watching, honestly. And I will see you in the next video.